morning, YouTube. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope everyone is having a good morning, and I hope everyone has a great and blessed day. And I want to speak about my father. I just got to give him, give him some time. Instead of all about talking all about demons all the time, which you know they gonna be demons. They gonna they gonna bring pain and hurt and tribulations and trials your way. They they that's what they designed to do. That's what their mission is to do. But let me talk about my father, which arts and happen. Let, let me just speak on him. some time. I honor him with all my heart, mind, and spirit. I honor him. I worship him. I give him all he gave me. And that's my, my body, my spirit. I can't repay him in no way, shape, or form of all that he have done for me. I can't never repay him because he is our creator. He would not be our father, our God, if we were, we could produce the same amount of energy he produces to us. He wouldn't be our God. We wouldn't be able to worship him. We wouldn't be able to thank him. But he loves us so very much. He gave up his only begotten son for us. We know as in this world, that nobody is going to sacrifice their children, no matter if their children right or wrong, wrong or right, for no one else. Abraham did. Abraham did. He was just going to give up Isaac, you know. I love you, Lord. I love you, Father. I love you. I trust you. And you know, many people that say that they're saved Christians, saints, Soon something drastic or, I mean, really, really heartbroken happen in their life, their trust move away from the Father. Their faith disappear. Their mindset become demonic. Their hearts become cold, heartless, numb. That tells you right there you didn't trust him. No matter what we go through, and believe me when I tell you all, and I'm and I'm saying this with a with a um a heart of sorrow. All that I've been through, and I've been through some shots, some some blows, some take you out of this world blows some heartbreaks that I don't even see how I survived it. But I know how I survived it. But I couldn't even see how I survived it. And I just didn't go through no minor warfare like, and I'm, and I'm being honest, like miscarriaging or um, having a baby at a young age or um, marriages or boyfriends or you know broke or I went through some major major heartbreaks physical abuse mental abuse verbal abuse I mean some cut throat physical abuse what I mean by putting your hand getting your hands put on Somebody putting their hands on you trying to take your life. Verbal abuse. I done heard every word that could be spoken in this world. And I mean evil words. Not no, just no little itty bitty calling you a, a name out of your name. You know how they go. And you no, know, I done heard some real harsh words that a lot of people probably are sitting in the state hospital over. You know? I done went through some spiritual warfare 
that Satan used my own children. And I'm, and I'm speaking of truth that he used my very own children and he knew I love with all my heart, mind and spirit. I love my children as I loved in my own soul. And I love my soul. But I loved it my children so deeply. But once my children start entangling with darkness, and I mean portals that I never ever ever encounter to go down, or I'ma put it this way, let me let me not say that. Portals that the father did not allow Satan to take me down. I'ma put it that way. I'm not gonna say portals that I know. There's no I in this. Everything we journey through or everything we go through, it depends on how much you obey darkness, how much you hunger for dark, or darkness, just like you thirst for righteousness or you fight to get out of what you in, is how much you hunger for whatever. Even though I start becoming dark because of all the darkness I took, I start to become dark. I start thinking on my own self or my own hurt and my own heartbreak. But let me tell you about the most perfect, holiest, beautifulest father I ever encountered in my whole entire life. And I never had a father figure, which that don't bother me. It bothered many people. I didn't have a dad. My dad, I ain't never had a dad raise me. I never had a mother. She was present in the flesh, but she wasn't present in the spirit. I didn't have that comforter. I didn't have that compassion. I didn't have that understanding. I didn't have that teaching. I had none of that. My whole journey was learning on my own, sitting back and watching what's next or going down pathways. Either I'm going to fail or I'm going to succeed. I failed a lot because I didn't know a lot. You know, there's a difference when you know a lot and you still fail. I failed because I didn't know a lot. But let me tell you about my father. Let me tell you about him. He's wonderful. He's marvelous. I don't really have the words on this earth that he gave us to speak. The languages he gave us to speak. It can't, it can't even justify him. It don't even justify who he truly is. I'm speechless when it comes to him. I, I'm just giving the words that I can describe him best, but there is no description of him. He's just everything, you know, everything, everything. The warfare that I endure, look at me, I'm still here. I might don't have everything on my flesh still operating like my shoulder. It might be dislocated for life, but I can still move it and I could still, you know, lift it and, you know, some points I can't, but some points I do, I force it. He gave me the ability, and I didn't go to school, I didn't go nowhere for this. He gave me the ability to know how to use my left hand for everything. That's when my roller cuff was down on its luck, no nothing. Pains. Black eyes, head, knots all over it. I mean, I've been through some warfare. Say in used vessels that supposed to have loved at me because I was blinded. But I always used to say, if they love you, why do they hurt you? I've been through the warfare and Satan used my kids, even though my kids are grown. They grown. He still brings animosity between families. You know, when you grow up with other people and 
our children, they got their own minds because I give my children their own minds. You be who you choose to be. I cannot mold you into being me. I can only mold you in being like Christ. That's just the way it was about. I couldn't mold them to be like me because I didn't know who I was. I just know I'm fighting to get out of what I'm around. I'm fighting to get away from who I'm around. I couldn't mold my children into nothing else. I brought my children up in the gospel, in the word. I've taught my children don't do nothing to nobody else that you don't want done to you. I always, I, that was one thing I forced in my home with my children. I chastised my children. I did, I chastised them. When they got out of hand, they got chastised. But they didn't get much chastisement until they got older. 12, 13, that's when the warfare began, begun. It wasn't easy. Then there, there I was fighting mentally, emotionally, and physically, trying to get them back under control. But as they got on the outside of the world, which I always told them, the outside is cold. They're not going to give you chances like I give you chances. They're not going to love you like I love you. And I didn't know nothing about the spiritual world at that present time. I just only knew we're fighting. We're fighting with something, but I don't know what we're fighting with. I was not taught the gospel at all. So I wasn't speaking demons and devils. I would hear the world say demons and devils and the most high and Jesus but it seemed like everybody was moving evil, even though they were hollering our father and Jesus. They were moving like demons and devils. So I knew that there was a problem. There was a serious problem, but I just could never figure it out at that present time. But 2019, when the father chose me, and like I said, I didn't understand what was going on. I didn't understand the transformation. I didn't understand the calling. I didn't understand that I was chosen. I didn't understand. I just thought that something else on this earth besides us, you know, like, you know, I always watch the horror movies and all that extra crazy stuff. But when you look at, when I look back now and the Holy Spirit bring it back to my remembrance, it was all spiritual. But it was where Satan tried to get me deep into portals that I wouldn't allow him to. So when you don't do what Satan allows you to do, when you stop Satan from doing the things he want to do, and you don't allow him to carry you down certain avenues, he will flip and turn and try to dismiss you. And that's why I had a lot of challenges. My kids kept me on my toes spiritually. Satan using my kids in all kinds of disasters. Breaking and entering, murder, drugs, deceit, backbiting, everything that the word of God say, if you, you will not enter into this kingdom, my children encounter all of those demonic folks through themselves. And I had to, had to challenge this, first of all, with no knowledge. I wasn't afraid. I wasn't afraid. I would never be afraid of nothing. Fear was not my, fear was not even in my vocabulary. I feared that what would happen to my children if they will continue on doing the things they're doing. <coughs> Excuse me. I feared for my children down the pathways that they were taking. I feared. I feared one day I'm going to get that call. The child is gone. And it wasn't that it would break my heart. It would break my heart because now they're going to be cast into the lake of fire because they died into their iniquities. And I do that with anyone. Anyone, not just my children. I have a loving heart for everyone, not just mine. Everybody. Because I know this world is not our home. And for parents, and I used to be one, I started getting into that fighting, fussing, and cussing. You know, um, beating on people because that's what I was taught. That's what I even endured. And I start, you know, being, as they say, gangster. 
you know, sitting around, you know, always talking about beating somebody down, tearing somebody apart, ripping somebody a head off, which I would really, if you cross me and I wasn't someone to just jump off because I had a pure heart, but once I found out who you were, my anger would, it would kindle like on another level. And I thank the Father that he saved me from many things. I could have been incarcerated. I could have been on the news for murder. I could have been in the grave. I could have died in my iniquities. I could have died in all kinds of things. I could have been a drug addict. I could have been an alcoholic that can't even function. I could have been homeless. I could have been a homosexual. I could have been all them things. See, that's what people don't understand. The demonic world don't care who you are. As long as you bow to Satan, he'll give you your heart's desire. You will, Even if you said, look, Satan, here come my soul. I just make me rich. What I got to do to be rich? Well, you got to be a homosexual. A lot of people don't understand or I make you rich. You just got to blaspheme, blaspheme against God. Stuff like this. This is what stops you from getting into the kingdom. It's in the word. It ain't my word. It's the Father's word that he created for humanity. Me, you, and everybody else. The Holy Spirit is not going to teach you to go down portals of darkness. The Holy Spirit is going to teach you to come out of them. He knows it's going to be some fighting. He knows it's going to be some distrust. He knows it's going to be some fear. He knows it's going to be hard times where you think the Father ain't around. He knows it's going to be some times where he think that the word is wrong. But it's not. It's not. Our Father is giving us the mind of his Son. The anointed one. The anointed one. Not the mind of Satan, not the mind of the Antichrist, not the mind of man, but giving us the mind of his son, Jesus the Christ, Yahshua HaMashiach, Yeshua, Yahshua, whatever language you speak his name in. Yes, he was a Hebrew, but the Father created all languages. When they try to build that tower, where do you think languages come from? It might not sound the same in this particular language, but in our language, it means what their language means. We got a wonderful father. We know heartache's going to come. He gave up his only son. Do you not think he ain't going to give us up? Do you not think that we won't face trials and tribulations and might face some real dark situations? But if we die in righteousness, we can reign with his son, Jesus the Christ. But if we die in our iniquities, you're going to reign with the, uh, the dragon called Satan. It's your choice. Who do you believe? Who do you truly believe? Do you believe the one in the world that works through people? Or you believe the father up above that created all people, all things, grass, everything on this earth. He created the universe. It can't be the universe. He created the universe. This is real stuff. These are real battles. These are real heartbreaks. Nobody want to get out. Nobody want to get their soul fit, fitness. They don't want the fitness of their soul and work out their, work themselves out of their flesh. They want to fit, make their soul or their flesh's fitness and work out of their spirits. That's backwards. You got the Holy Spirit works within and come out, not work out and come in. No, that's Satan. The Holy Spirit goes inward and show the works outwardly. But many people don't want to surrender. Believe me, if I didn't 
have the faith that I have right now, if I was not built the way the Father wanted me to be built, I don't know where I'd be. But I tell you one thing about it, and I rejoice and I speak it over anybody mountains. I fly across the plane. I am truly saved and baptized by the Holy Spirit. I'm not just saying this just for a game, for an act. I'm saying this for a truth. I'm not saying this to boast and brag. Because I am nothing to boast and brag about nothing. There's nothing in this world to boast and brag about. But one thing there is something to boast and brag about is our King, our Messiah. He defeated that wicked one. Yes, we're going to get sick. Flesh is flesh. Flesh is made from dirt, iron, all the stuff, come, all the minerals and stuff that comes out of the dirt. Yes, we're going to get sick, but where is your faith? Yes, we're going to lose loved ones, but where is your faith? Where is your truth? Where is your commitment to the Most High? He committed himself to us. Why we can't reciprocate the same type of commitment? As he say, you honor me with your lips, but your hearts are far from me. me with your lips but your hearts are far from me and you can read Matthew Luke whatever whatever I just wanted to come up here today and just express my love my gratitude my thanksgiving my heart my faithfulness to my father and to the world and and I don't I'm sorry that I don't ask people to please uh, like share and subscribe because it's all up to you know many of you to do the very thing that you're asked to do because you know the way of YouTube, you know the way of how um, platforms roll. Everybody know how it is. But if you truly love something or you truly know that this is spiritual and you truly know that it that the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit works together and they works together for our good not our bad and not our good by being prophetic of um, clothes and, and shelter and all that extra stuff. No, if you know that you need to be saved and you know that you want to see the new home and you know you want to reign with Jesus the Christ, you will do better. It ain't nobody have to tell you to like, share, and subscribe to get the um, feed out there. or Because I've been doing this for 10 months, but I've been just posting um, videos. I haven't came live yet, which one day I'll get there, you know. But if you truly, truly love our Father and His Son, and you truly have the Holy Spirit, believe me, your comprehending with me would be awesome. Anybody else that truly got the Holy Spirit, but a lot of you don't. You've been you've been tricked into believing that you had the Holy Spirit. That's the Antichrist job. You get what I'm saying? He he can he seemed like he come for peace. He seemed like he's for the Father. He seemed like he for the Christ. But in his heart, he is for Satan. That's why you can't digest the truth. That's why you run the people that always talk about prophetic stuff or profit uh things of the world you don't want to profit your souls you want to profit the things outside your souls and that's not how you're gonna make it into the kingdom it's just that truth and it's just that true and that simple but when you understand the truth 
You will, you will walk the truth. You will walk through the flesh. You will not walk after the flesh. But I'm going to give you a little um, wisdom. I'm going to give you a, a, a verse from, a, um, give you some wisdom. And Proverbs is wisdom. 1 7. The fear of the Lord, the fear of the Lord, Anani, is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. I'm give you 1 Corinthians 2.14. This has always been one of my greatest verses. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. And that's why a lot of people do not comprehend to truth. They call it harsh. You're harsh. Your truth is harsh. You don't um you don't sugarcoat it. Nothing about Satan needs to be sugarcoated. It's not saying we are we're aiming at you. We're aiming at what's attached to you just as well the Holy Spirit had to aim at what's attached to us. He had to go inside and cleanse us from all brokenness, all demonic folks that was planted in us. He had to go inside of us and pluck it up and root it out. How else are we going to be able to be used by the Holy Spirit? How else is our vessels going to be able to be used and go through these harsh storms that is brewing in this world today? James 1, 26. If any man among you seem to be religious and bridleth not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is in vain. 1 Corinthians 1, 18. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of our Father, which arts in heaven. And this is just real, realness. It can't, you can't get no better than this. You can't get no realer than this. Truth is truth. Light is light. Darkness is darkness. Lies is lies. And this is what's going on in the world today. Many lies and we are not going to sit back uh put our heads down we're going to hold our heads up high no matter who throw darks at us we are protected and we are shielded we love you we will help you we'll get through with you if you allow us but if you don't allow we just got to keep moving forward until you decide you want to learn Jesus. Have the mind of him. Because he is the master of defeat and sin. But until then, I love each and every one of you. This video is long. It's okay. I can give my father 30. I can give him the whole day to speak about this. But I love each and every one of you. Because if I didn't, I wouldn't have answered the call. But the call is hard to ignore. If you understand the baptism of the Holy Spirit. The call is hard to ignore. Believe me, it's hard to ignore when you know the truth. You will not go back to sleep. You'll walk to be woke. But I love each and every one of you. So much love.